Hey guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Today in this video, we're not actually in After Effects, we're actually in HitFilm 2 Ultimate. And this is the new Mac version coming out soon, and I was able to get an early sneak peek of this uh, version here. So um, today I just wanted to go over some of the features of HitFilm 2, and I really want to just compare it to After Effects and Premiere. Even though I do realize that they're two separate beasts, I do want to compare, I want to show you guys around HitFilm. So this isn't really going to be a tutorial over the whole HitFilm Ultimate program. I'm not going to be showing you every single feature there is, and this is by no means a tutorial of any sort, but rather a comparison video of just me showing you guys around HitFilm, walking you through some of the cool features that set out to me, and how does it compare to After Effects and Premiere, and kind of just my opinions on this application after a few weeks of using it here as an After Effects user. So let's go and take a look, but before we get started, I want to go ahead and thank our sponsors over at Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional online website, store, or portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, head over to squarespace.com and use the promo code DOJO10 at checkout. So in case you haven't heard of HitFilm, it's a kind of new type of breed of software uh, for the video people out there. And essentially it is a editor as well as a compositing program all in one. And this is very, very unique in terms of, you know, the workflow that you're going to use. It's a little bit different from After Effects, even with Dynamic Link. And um, I think it's a very interesting program. It's very, very affordable. And it's been showcased by Ryan Conley. It's been showcased by... Uh, Corridor Digital, so it, you know, it's had made its presence in the field, and it's gotten a lot of attention from the Mac version Kickstarter that got a lot, a lot of funds for, so really, really glad to see this on the Mac. That was one of the reasons why I didn't really try it out, but, um, so here we have HitFilm 2 Ultimate right now. So let me just show you some of the cool stuff within this application. How does it compare to After Effects as an After Effects user myself? So, right when you open HitFilm here, this is what you're gonna get. This is a really, really cool splash screen. It shows all the latest news, the blog posts, and some tutorials, some new tutorials from HitFilm themselves, as well as guest posts. So this is a pretty cool way to just, just to kind of keep up to date with uh, HitFilm and the updates and, and some of the new content coming together. So here you can access all your projects, or if you want, you can just skip through ahead and just go straight to the project tab here. But uh, if you create a new project, you know, you get some of the similar settings as After Effects here. We have the resolution, the aspect frame rate, and stuff like that, audio properties. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and open a previous project I already created here, the HitFilm demo project. And by clicking that, you're able to kind of just open your project. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the editor within HitFilm, and although it isn't really anything special, it does get the job done, and it's a pretty good thing to have within a single suite. I mean, it's good to have everything here at once. So this is the editor, and right off the bat, you can see that it's very, very similar to Premiere here. We have, you know, the project media panel right here. We have, you know, the effects uh, right here that we can apply. We also have the viewer right here. We have the timeline here, the video audio. We have some very similar common tools. You know, we have the basic slice tools. We have the, you know, the hand tool. We have you know, the slip and slide tools and stuff like that. So though it isn't anything really truly advanced, it does get the job done and it does, you know, serve its purpose and you can make cuts with this just fine. Uh, it's a lot better than iMovie and, you know, Windows Movie Maker and such like that. So this is definitely a step up and it's great to have an editor within this application here that you can move back and forth between, you know, composite shots and stuff like that. So here I just have a few footage available right here. I'm going to drag into the timeline just to show you kind of what it does here. So. Like any other editor, you can just click and drag uh, clips into the timeline here, and as you can see, this is 3K footage. Uh, so, you know, just click and drag, and it plays just fine. You know, there's no lag or anything. We can zoom in here, very similar to Premiere. We can just take the edges here and trim it, you know, and move this track over here and you know trim this over here and then just move this over here. And of course we can get the slice tool and just slice the individual points that we want to slice at, you know. So again, it does the job and it allows us to make our cuts and just, you know, rearrange footage together to create a final piece. Now the great part about this is you can actually convert these to a composite shots, which is kind of like After Effects compositions. So right now, imagine that we're in Premiere right now. As you can see, it's very, very similar to Premiere. We can directly move into a composite shot, kind of like Dynamic Link within Premiere. We can actually move into a composite shot here. So we can right click and go make composite shot. It'll bring it into a kind of a composition in After Effects here, and it's called a composite shot. So if I go to right click, go to new, and create a composite shot, this is kind of like an After Effects comp. So I have a few comps already made here, so I'm going to jump into those comps right now to show you the kind of the more exciting side of HitFilm here. So this is the editor, pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to the, the visual effects compositing stuff here. So 
my first comp here is the 3D space. And this is something that I really want to talk about. I think it's just really, really cool, and I wish After Effects did this as well. So you know in After Effects, we kind of have a unified 3D space, but not really. Um, so like 3D layers have a unified 3D space, but you know, plugins like Trap Code Particular or Element 3D, you know, they have their own 3D space, and that's very, very limiting, and that's kind of After Effects' kind of own limit thing. It's not really the plugin's fault. It's just the way After Effects was, you know, built together. So 3D effects like Plexus, Particular Form, Element 3D, they have their own 3D space. Um, but if you take a look at this comp here that I have, I'm going to select the Orbit tool here. And if I just rotate, you can see that these two are two separate effects here. I have the red fire layer and the blue fire layer here, as well as the camera. And usually, since the blue fire is on top of the red fire, you know, usually in After Effects, this blue fire will be in front of the red fire no matter what. So, as you can see, the blue fire is further back in Z space, and the red fire here is closer to us. So if I move the camera and just kind of orbit around, you can see that the red flame here actually goes in front of the blue flame uh, like it should in real life. Now, you know, in After Effects, this wouldn't be true. You know that the blue flame, regardless of wherever it is, even though the blue flame is further back in Z space, is behind the red flame. In After Effects, the blue flame would be in front. It would show on top of the red flame. But in Hit Film, you have a unified 3D space, so things actually react accordingly. So we actually have the red flame in front and the blue flame in the back because that's where they are in 3D space regardless of the layer stack. So this is very very cool here. So everything interacts very very well. So you know in After Effects you know you have plugins that kind of compensate for this kind of drawback in After Effects. They have like obscuration layers for example or you can do some clever masking to you know mask certain parts of effects and stuff like that. So not in hit film things are are truly reactive to the 3d world here so everyone everyone shares all the effects share the same 3d space which is brilliant for uh, compositing reason and motion graphics as well so this is one of the biggest features that i thought hitfilm was pretty cool at how everything's kind of uniform and we have a uniform 3d space another thing to kind of keep in mind is that in hitfilm the point zero zero is actually in the center of the comp here. So this may not seem like a big deal, but you know, it, for me working with 3D, it just makes more sense for the zero zero point to be in the center, like Cinema 4D, for an example. But in After Effects, the zero zero point is actually the top left hand corner here, which is kind of a little bit confusing. We're trying to you know translate the coordinates and stuff like that. So that's another thing. Another thing is that uh, Hitfilm has a 3D grid, which I think After Effects should have. Now, of course, you can make your own 3D grid and just place it as a 3D layer and rotate and all that stuff, but it's just great how HitFilm has a 3D kind of floor plane here. So we can actually see, kind of get a reference point of where we are in 3D space. I wish After Effects had this. Now, as you can see here, the compositing area looks very, very similar to After Effects here. We have the, you know, the visible eye switch here. We can turn off individual elements like After Effects. We have the same timeline. We have the layer space. We have the 3D layer cube. We have the parents here. So everything is very, very similar to After Effects. We even have the effects controls here. We can search for stuff. We apply things the same way here. If I select on this layer right here, the blue fire, and go to the controls tab here you can see that we actually can access all of our effects very very similar to after effects this is essentially the effects controls panel in after effects and we can control the effects and parameters and enter values in here just like an after effects would so believe it or not these two flame elements here are actually you know presets within hit film i didn't do any advanced particle mapping and you know custom particles and like that this is these two flames here are actually built-in effects within hit film called the bonfire effect and we can just uh, you know uh, let's, select, let's go ahead and select the red fire here and go to the fire and we can actually you know increase the size you know increase the size we can also you know increase the spread and you know these are all within hit film I didn't really do much to set this up uh, these are actually presets so these are pretty cool we can change the color of the smoke we can add more embers here so we can just crank up the number of embers and see that we have more ember fires here we can you know, do a lot of things very, very similar to After Effects. So if you're coming from After Effects, the workflow is gonna be very easy to pick up. It's very, very similar to After Effects. We can tell that HitFilm was kind of inspired by After Effects here. So you also have you know, the common effects here. We have some of the blurs, we have 
channels. We have color correction, which give you the exposure, hue and saturation, levels, you know, stuff like that. We have distort, we have the common bulge, we have the magnify, you know, the waves. Um, there's also a few other things I want to point out. The particles in HitFilm is what kind of stands out the most to me in the effects. The particles and simulations within HitFilm is actually pretty impressive. Um, for example here, if I make a new comp, let's go back to the media here, and just create a new composite shot. We'll call this muzzle, and then hit create. Um, HitFilm has some built-in presets that are pretty, pretty cool. So for example, this gunfire, automatically creates 3D muscle flashes here. So as you can see, it says, oh, you need to create a camera, add it for us, hit yes, and it creates kind of a muscle flash here. And we can go into the controls, we can adjust you know, the appearances of things, we can uh, increase the rate of fire, we can increase the scale of the blur here. The most impressive part here is the particle simulator, which is kind of like HitFilm's own chuckle in particular. And then you have atomic particles, which I will explain maybe in another tutorial. So if I hop into the advanced particles comp here, I have a particle simulation set up here. And this is with the particle simulator effect. And as you can see, I have a deflector set up. If I hit play, you can see that we have these particles reacting to our deflectors very very realistically very very cool and everything is physics based as you can see um, we have our balls emitting from the emitter here and it's reacting and bouncing and hitting and staying within our deflector here and you know in after effects this would be very very hard to set up you would need newton or something like that so i want to show you around the particle simulator effect here there's some pretty impressive things within here and it's a little bit different from after effects workflow here so for example uh, the particle simulators, we have emitters, right? We can actually add more emitters. So this effect is very, very modular. It's very it's very similar to Plexus where you can add more effectors, you can add more, you know, renderers. You can add a lot of things here within the particle simulator. So right now I only have one emitter, but you could add more emitters if you wanted to. We can change the shape of the emitter. We have all these settings just for the shape of the emitter. We have the trajectory here. We also have the particle system. We can actually add more particle systems per emitter. So that's very, very powerful here. Um, open the particle system down here. And then here you can change the appearance. You can change you know, the shape of the particles. Right now they're set to uh, sphere, but of course you can add more. You can change, you know, affected by the deflector, affected by forces. You, know, you have the number of particles per second. So set it to maybe like 150. We we'll reduce the number of particles here random seed. We also have uh, velocity from emitter, which is kind of like velocity from motion in particular. We also have, uh, you also have the ability to use a custom texture, so kind of like a custom sprite within particular here. Um, of course you have the randomness, you can change the appearance variation, which is like the randomness of the size, color, and stuff like that. Now the movement is where it gets kind of interesting here. Um, of course particular has bounce and all that stuff as well, so that's nothing really new, but you also have um, interesting stuff within the deflectors and forces here. So in particular, you can create a plane uh, or a layer that will cause the particles to bounce. You can do the same thing here in hit film here. And deflectors are pretty much uh, objects or shapes or planes, flat planes that you can use to cause the particles to react. So this is very, very powerful. You can build your own kind of fake 3D planes and place them where objects would be and you can have your particles reacting to those planes as if it was actually in the shot. So this is very cool. Again, you can add multiple deflectors here. And in this case, my deflector is a cube, so particles are being emitted within the cube and the cube is the, uh, is the deflector, so uh, it's deflecting all these particles and, make, and keeping them within the deflector or the cube. You also have forces. You can add a new force, and this can be anything from directional force, attraction, which is very interesting. We also have detraction as well as turbulence. So as you can see, you have a lot of options when it comes to physics here. You can do a lot of things using the force and deflectors in combination in conjunction with the particle system. So it's very, very interesting. I think relaying this thing to a particular, I think particular renders a lot faster. I think it looks a little bit nicer, but in terms of physics rendering, this particle simulator within HitFilm definitely is a lot more interesting, a lot more fun to play around with, and you can do a lot more with the actual physics 
in the particle simulator within HitFilm. So this is a very, very powerful particle simulator here. If you're worried about particles and stuff like that, HitFilm can actually do some pretty advanced particle stuff uh, right out of the box here. So again, this is a pretty cool simulation here. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, it renders in real time here. So notice how I'm not doing any RAM previews or anything like that, or like rendering things out. I'm actually just hitting the play button and it's actually simulating and doing the motion blur and all that stuff right within the, the viewer here. And yes, uh, HitFilm does have motion blur. It does have uh, depth of field. We can go to the layer properties. We can, you know, any of a motion blur for certain layers. We can select parents. We can also go to the transform and play around with the transform properties. We can also go into the materials and change the materials, like the specular highlights, the ambient diffuse. Um, and HitFilm can actually import 3D objects as well. So it's very interesting to do and play around with. So before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and thank our sponsors over at Squarespace for making today's video possible. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional online website, store, or portfolio. They have over 20 highly customizable and professionally designed templates. With their click and drag interface, adding content is a breeze, and starting at just $8 a month you can get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. You can start your free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. And when you do decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use promo code DOJO10 to get 10% off the life of your order and support the dojo. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. Now lastly, I want to show you the 3D text capabilities. Now this part is not really that impressive, um, but it's kind of nice that HitFilm can do something like this. In case you want to create 3D extrusion, you can actually do this here. So this is just plain text, and I actually added an effect called 3D extrusion. So this will work with anything, pretty much. And it will allow you to change uh, the extrusion depth. So I added depth to this text. We can change it to 100, and the depth will be 100 pixels, I'm assuming. So as you can see, um, HitFilm can extrude stuff like text and layers and you know stuff like that. It also supports stuff like illumination. So as you can see, this thing does react to lights here. So if I select this, let's see, let's select this fill light here and go to the transform. We can actually see that it does react to lights. So that's pretty cool here. So it does have lights. We also have the ability to set an environment map, which will you know, map an environment around this text here. We have realistic reflections and stuff like that. Now, based from what I see, you can't really bevel anything, which is kind of a big disappointment, but you know, this is definitely a start and you can actually extrude 3D stuff uh, within HitFilm. So this is pretty cool. And you see that I also have this kind of lens streak effect. And this is actually done with a effect here called anamorphic lens flare so this is kind of like the lens flare effect uh, within magical looks where it kind of automatically creates these lens flares based on the highlights of things and you can hop into here and play around the threshold the intensity you know the, the blur the blending modes number of streaks you also have the ability to build your own lens flare so there's an effect called lens flares and you can choose from a whole bunch of presets on which lens flares you want here they have a few they don't look that great. They're not like optical flares, but you do have the ability to kind of customize your flare and select some presets here. So that's pretty cool that HitFilm has uh, lens flares built in. So right off the bat, you can see that there are tons and tons of effects within HitFilm that are, no are not really available out of the box in After Effects. If I hop back into the 3D space comp here, you can see that we have very, very similar controls. We have the pointer selecting tool. We have the text tool. We have mass and the pen tool here so we can draw and actually rotoscope. Uh, within hit film here. We have the orbit tool very similar to After Effects here So I can just orbit around wherever I click Feels like a 3d application. We also have the track Z tool. We can move in and out. We have the move tool here We have the rotate tool so we can rotate and pan the camera around So as you can see we have some pretty decent control over you know where we are We can do some pretty cool camera moves with this uh, So it's definitely not a weak compositing tool and if we toggle down layers, you can see that we have a very similar stack to After Effects. We have, you know, all the effects here at the bottom. We have the transform, you know, properties that are like very similar to After Effects. You can transform things around. You can keyframe stuff very similar to After Effects. So you can keyframe values and move them around. So as you can see, this whole environment just reminds me so much of After Effects. That's why I was able to just pick up HitFilm right away and start working with it because it was so familiar with After Effects. It feels like After Effects. Everything is pretty much like After Effects except the kind of effects are a little bit different. So this is pretty cool here. So now one last thing I want to show you is the kind of color correction, color grading stuff within HitFilm here. So I'm back in the editor here. 
So this is just a plain editor, and we can just scrub through. As you can see, as you can see, it handles it pretty well for being 3K footage. So I'm going to show you one last thing, which is the color correction. As you can see, we have a few effects here, not as uh, as many as After Effects, but we do have a lot here. And the most important one here, in my opinion, is the color correction wheels. So we can drag that into our clip here. Now, if you're in a composite shot, there is an alternative to an adjustment layer within After Effects. So if I go into a composite shot here, you can actually create an adjustment layer, and it's called a grade layer. And then anything you apply here will apply to the bottom of the stack as well. So it's very, very similar to After Effects. Uh, but the editor, I don't think you can do that. So here we have our color correction wheels here, and we have the highlights. I'm gonna just increase the warmness of the highlights here. I'm gonna decrease the shadows. And then we can decrease the midtones a little bit. So as you can see, you can create some pretty interesting looks and you have the fully fledged uh, 3D color wheels as you would want to have when editing and color grading stuff. So you have the color correction wheels and you can you know control the highlights, midtones, and shadows and play around with the strength, the hue and all that stuff. So you're not limited on the, the color wheels here. So I'm gonna delete that. You also have access to some of the color grading here and these are pretty much just presets. You know, I wouldn't really use these. Uh, I would just stick with the color correction color wheels here. But these are just kind of presets. For example, we have, uh, let's see here, the the bleach bypass direct into the clip. So you have the bleach bypass, you have stuff like this, so that's pretty cool. But that's pretty much some of the things that kind of caught my attention when working with HitFilm. Things are very, very similar to After Effects. Within the composite shot, as you can see, everything's very similar to After Effects. The layer stack, uh, you know, the previewing the effects, the, the way you control layers, the way you control effects and the effects controls, the way you import stuff. Now there are a lot of features that I didn't really mention uh, in this particular video. For example, you can actually track stuff within HitFilm. And if you want, you can actually, uh, let's see here, we can actually track stuff within Mocha. So if you right click here, go to new, you can actually create a new camera solve with Mocha HitFilm. And yes, HitFilm does come with a version of Mocha where you can actually track stuff and bring that data into HitFilm here. You can also import 3D camera tracking data from like Maya and stuff like that. You can directly import 3D models and work with models within HitFilm. So it's a very, very impressive. It's a very impressive package for what you pay for. So if you just got started working with video, maybe you're a novice editor or, you know, maybe you're getting into visual effects and compositing or that's what you want to be. Uh, you know, definitely this program is definitely a great place to start. You know, if you're not ready to switch to After Effects yet, maybe you don't have the funds to switch to After Effects or something like that, and you want an affordable package that has an editor as well as compositing features all in one package, this is definitely the package to go. Using HitFilm 2 for a few weeks now, I've noticed, you know, that HitFilm pretty much has all the basic features that After Effects has out of the box. You know, if you were to buy After Effects right now, HitFilm would pretty much cover all the features that After Effects would have out of the box. I mean, you're not really missing anything important that, you know, a beginner would want to use or even an intermediate user would need. You know, you pretty much have everything within HitFilm uh, that you would probably need to get started learning visual effects as well as editing. So it's a very, very great little package. Now, if you're coming from After Effects, if you're a current After Effects Premiere user, honestly, I would see no reason to switch from After Effects to HitFilm because, you know, you kind of have to adjust your workflow a little bit and you're also losing a lot of plugin support. So from After Effects to HitFilm, I don't really suggest making that switch. You know, I still think After Effects is a more superior program, of course. Again, these are two separate beasts, so I don't want to compare too much between HitFilm 2 and After Effects, but I just can't help it. So that's pretty much it guys, that's pretty much my run through of HitFilm. Of course I didn't really cover all the features, I just covered some of the main ones that kind of caught my eye. But I just wanted to give you guys an overview of HitFilm and some of the abilities they can do compared to After Effects and how it compares to After Effects and Premiere's workflow. So just an interesting video. If you want more information, go ahead and read the article down below because I'll be providing more information, my more in-depth opinions and thoughts in the article below. But this is just a quick walkthrough video of what I think about HitFilm after a few weeks of using it. So that's pretty much it for now guys. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo.net and I'll see you guys next time.